This is a short video on how to take the x-axis out of a Speedy 400. So first thing we're going to start with is taking off this upper piece here. So to do that, there are two Allen bolts right here at the front, which you can get two, and these two bolt holes. And then in the back, there are another two screws right there. And this will lift up and be out of our way. With the top plate out of our way, we can now get to our x-axis mounting bolts. So to undo the x-axis from this side, you have one Allen bolt right here, and a second one right here, underneath these wires. After you've undone those, you have a few wires to unplug here. You have this plug, which will unplug. Note the direction of which way it's facing, because it can go in backwards. And there's pins, and obviously these pins will face down towards the bottom. Other than that, we have the energy chain, which is in our way. So we'll have to undo this clip here. Uh, you can do that by putting in a small flathead, and you want to pry this little part right in the middle towards the outside, and this will pop up and out of our way. So I've undone the uh, energy chain so I can get to these wires. I've gone ahead and undone this belt. It's just held on with these two little springs. Uh, a tip to you is I would take these springs right off. That way, if they're left hanging on here, sometimes they fall, and if they fall in there, it's kind of a pain to get to. So, we've undone our one motor plug here. And this wire which goes into the energy chain actually go into the board here. So we can just simply pull that straight up and out. Get that undone. And then the only other thing, actually there's two more things here. So we have the air assist hose. To uh, get these undone, you're gonna push in on the hose and down on this little blue part and then pull the hose apart. Okay, so I've now got the hose apart. The next thing we have to do is take off our wire for our reference switch. So you can take out this little screw. Uh, there's a nut on the back. You can kind of see that. It's kind of blurry. Um, yeah, basically just undo that and just pull this wire out of the way. This wire comes down here, wraps around there. And it's just this white one you need to unplug. You don't have to unplug the red one. And once we have all that undone, uh, then all we have to do is pull this uh, belt out of the way that's held on with these two screws here. And uh, once that comes is undone, you can just lift it up, and there's usually enough slack that you can just tip it and put it in behind here, which I'll show you. Just before I finish taking this apart, um, just a little tip: might be good to take a pen and just draw a line around where that washer is sitting, because as you know, this is adjustable. Uh, this plate here. And if it's too far in, it will rub against this uh, inner lip of the frame. Uh, if it's too far out, it, it's, it's fine. It's just not going to do its job as well. Um, but yeah, I just mark a little circle with a pen just around that before you take it all the way out. So I now have this bracket pulled out of the way. Uh, that should be everything from this side. Uh, I have an extra cable here just because I have the... Uh, the job control vision camera installed on this machine but otherwise this side is good to come off we can go to the other side now so with the cover off this side we have uh, much the same we have the two bolts up front which you can also access through those holes two bolts on the back and we can go ahead and take this belt out of the way and take those uh, springs off okay so we have a lot of this out of the way I just want to make a uh, point of uh, the wires on this side is a little bit more slack but uh, just be gentle you're not pulling those wires and uh, same on this side this side's actually quite a bit tighter uh, that's why I've kind of laid it on an angle like that and pushed the x-axis out of the way but that's just what you have to do to get the x-axis out so now we come back over here to this side uh, this side there is one bolt here and one bolt right here and you'll know that this is, you can see there's a, a slide adjustment. And this axis can slide back and forth. So just make note of where it's sitting. Uh, 
On this side, there is no adjustment. So basically what you'll do is you'll bolt down this side, uh, just loosely, and then come back over here to this side. Like I said, just make note of where this is placed right now so your alignment's not gonna go way out of whack. And screw this one down tight, and then go back to this side and tighten it. And I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, these four bolts off. Say same thing, it's a good idea just to draw a line around where these are, just with a pen. That way you know the offset. So just a couple more things to note. You will be reusing this mirror here. So you can just take out these two Allen screws. Uh, be careful not to touch these brass adjustment screws because these will affect your uh, laser beam alignment. Uh, you'll also be reusing everything on the head. So your mirror up here, your lens, your holder, your nose cone and everything. And you're now ready to pull off your x-axis and swap on to your new one. As I had mentioned about marking where these screws are placed and where this x-axis is on the track, at the factory they have a uh, big jig that goes on top of this x-axis and goes against the back of the machine on each side to make sure it's square with the back of the machine. Uh, after it's all screwed down you can double check this Obviously, you're not going to have the same kind of tools as, as the factory would have, but essentially a simple tape measure against the back of the machine and just measure up to the face on both sides and make sure they're as close as you can get it to being uh, perfectly square. After your new x-axis is in place, uh, you will have to do a beam alignment just to make sure nothing has changed, which it probably has just because it's very sensitive to any sort of movement. Um, just some quick tips. Uh, I do have another video on how to do a beam alignment. Uh, for the 400 to fire a test pulse, you're going to push down on the stop button and the pause play button at the same time. Uh, this will fire uh, a test pulse. Basically what it does is it ramps up the power to uh, whatever the preset is in the settings, which is usually about 10%. So the longer you hold it, the more power you get and what you're going to be doing is putting a piece of tape um, just like a piece of paper masking tape over top of this hole and you're going to check at all four corners that it's in the exact center and that all four corners have that burn mark in the same spot. You're going to start with putting the head at the back top right corner and then the bottom right corner and if these two are the same, which they should be, that shouldn't have changed, you're going to check this end and do bottom left, top left. If you find that that is a little bit out, you can adjust it with this mirror here. And that's these two uh, brass adjustment screws. And basically, you'll fire a test pulse. You'll see a little black mark uh, form on the tape. And if it's a little bit high, uh, you, you'll also see the red dot. So just move those little uh, brass thumb screws until the red dot moves to where um, you want the beam to go and then fire their test pulse, replace the tape. Basically do it as many times as you have to to try and get it as perfect as you can because the better the beam alignment, the, the better, stronger the cuts are going to be, the better the engraving is going to be, the machine is just going to be a lot happier <laughs> if, if it's uh, properly aligned. So that's basically the, the quick and dirty on, on how to replace the, the x-axis on a Speedy 400. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give uh, Terrific Laser Canada a call. Uh, extension 902 is our technical support line, and that'll ring on all the tech desks across Canada. Uh, you can also email us at trotechlaser, or sorry, you can email us at techsupport at trotechlaser.ca. Have a good day.